Hello, beautiful people. I've had a few things on my mind today. So I've done several videos already, kind of telling you a little bit um, about my journey. And if you haven't seen them, I'll tell you really quickly. Um, I thought I was healthy. I exercised six days a week. Um, and all of a sudden I noticed with my Fitbit that my pulse was like through the roof. At least it seemed very high to me. Turned out my blood pressure was also very high. Um, completely abnormal, not my normal. My normal was 110 over 60, um, 110 over 65 for five years straight. And here it was, um, I think it was 162 over 112. A few days after that, it was 200 over 100, and I ended up in the emergency room. They thought I was going to stroke out. This started a whole thing of all this testing and kept hearing, um, you're in normal range, you're just getting older, excuse after excuse after excuse because they couldn't find what was wrong, did hair analysis, found out what was wrong, started to cure it. So the last six years, I have been very focused on food and looking to see how I'm going to react to food and looking to see how foods react with me and things that I can change and changing my diet and all of that. This past year, I realized I was missing a huge piece of the puzzle. Mindset. And don't let that scare you. Don't let you, don't run away. Just hear me out. And um, I was actually, I, I follow Ray Higdon. Um, highly recommend watching him and listening to him. He's very intuitive on just life in general, not just network marketing. However, that's a side note. So go look him up, Ray Higdon. He's awesome. He started talking about learning to meditate. Now, at first I was thinking, okay, Ah, uh, no, that's not what meditation, well, it can be, but that's not what meditation is supposed to be. My second thing was, is this okay with God? Because I was like, okay, I don't want it to be um, viewed as worshiping something other than God. And I just kind of wanted to look. So I went and I Googled how many times the word meditation shows up in the Bible. Okay, I feel better now, even Jesus meditated. Kind of a version of prayer. I started following Dr. Joe Dispenza. And based on Ray's recommendation, I'm sure there's many out there, so find one that fits you. But I followed him specifically because he has done scientific studies on physiological changes in your body. Okay, there's a whole lot of big words there. Basically, what he does is he runs all these tests, and it's volunteers that do this, but he runs all these tests before people go into his um, retreats. Then after they have meditated, he does more testing. And this has given him documented proof of improvements in your body. So I thought, okay, let's give this a try. Now, I am basically a newbie at this. I'm not real good at it. However, I have already seen significant differences in my whole body. Um, I'm sleeping better. My brain fog is better. My cognitive ability is better. Um, even though sometimes it doesn't seem like it because I lose track of what I'm thinking. But a few years ago, I couldn't have finished this conversation. Uh, we're four minutes in and I would have already forgot what I was trying to say. Um, those things have improved. My joy has improved. And I'm a joyous person anyway. I'm just a happy person. Um, I'm a very grateful person. So... For me to notice a significant difference in that um, says a lot of positive things about that. So I want to encourage you to go check out Dr. Joe Dispenza. 
Um, check out Ray Higdon because he also talks about mindset and you can go onto YouTube. You don't have to subscribe to anything. You can go onto YouTube and you can pull that up. I can't remember if he calls it mindset. He has one that's called money mindset that helps also. But find your center. Find a way to calm your mind. Um, find, find a way to um, release stress. Um, this is a great way to do that. Whether you are, it doesn't matter. If you have a child that can't focus, I would recommend this. Um, because it's not, it's not weird. It's not just for adults. It's not just for males. It's not just for females. I believe it's for everybody. I think everybody can benefit from stopping, breathing, and meditating. And if you have a problem with the word meditation, you can actually call it prayer. And most of the time when I sit down to meditate, I speak to God and ask um, for clarity or ask for basically an upgrade in who I am or ask him to show me what he wants me to see. And sometimes I see things and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I hear things and sometimes I don't, but I always come out of it and feel more centered, calmer, and actually healthier. So I want to encourage you today, check out some of my other videos. I do talk a lot about food. Um, I talk a lot about my journey. I do have a coaching program that I have put together that kind of condenses everything into a nice, neat little package. Um, that you can purchase. Um, I am working on a mastermind so that I can work with small groups of people and actually answer specific questions um, and help people with um, different problems. I have overcome many, many things. Um, all of those vague little symptoms that just kind of annoy you and make you feel like, oh, I'm just getting old. I have news for you. That's an excuse. Sorry, I'm not saying we don't age, but um, there's a lot of things that we can do that are little to no cost that can make you feel younger. So you go have a blessed day. I would love to hear if you start meditating. I would love to hear what you see, what you feel, and the changes that you have made. You can comment below if it's okay that it's public. You can send me a private message. Um, I would love to hear from you. You have a blessed, blessed day. Um, if you're like me, I'm sitting here looking outside at my greenhouse and it's a beautiful blue sky. I can't wait to talk to you again. You have a wonderful day.